Hello everybody, it is I, Del J, bringing you some more Fire Emblem Awakening Lunatic Classic. Last time we made our way to the land of Ragnar Ferax, but we were greeted not with hospitality, but with a battle instead. After proving our worth on the field of combat, we finally get ourselves a meeting with the Khan, which is exactly what we've been trying to do for like three maps now, goddamn! Uh, so I guess this is my new running around the castle, right? We can run around the world map instead. Look at Krom go. Look at Krom go, hey, you could never do this. This would take her like a year, man. I don't know. Like I said, I have mixed feelings about the world map thing. It kind of works. I, I mean, it works. It's cool and all, but like, you can see this guy right here. Imagine if this store had all my tonics, man. Now, if you don't know about tonics, they're really, really good. And we can talk about why in a little bit. But that would be the one thing that I think they shouldn't have changed. Either they should have put tonics in more places or there shouldn't be... Or, or, or there should be like a way to get around these. In Sacred Stones, you could get around these by, like, taking the battle and then retreating, and then you would just... It would basically get rid of the random encounter. I don't know how Gaiden handled it. Oh, yeah, it must be pronounced Gaiden. It must be, because you guys keep bothering me! <laughs> how many more jokes about this should I make? Well, I mean, maybe it's not Gaiden. I don't know. I'm just a Gaijin, right? I don't know. I don't know too much about Japanese culture. I ever told you the story about American songwriter slash guitarist Steve Vay? Should I keep the joke going, or can we drop it? <laughs> On my life, Fire Emblem fans will argue with you about the dumbest shit. They will argue to death with you about the dumbest crap you have ever heard. I cannot believe, here we are, y'all are some of the most nitpicky individuals I have ever met. I cannot believe that I needed to even say any of this. I, Jesus Christ, I love you guys, but god damn, dude. Leave it to a Fire Emblem fan to nitpick something that doesn't matter. Seriously, I feel like some of you just wait in the comments, just waiting for any small little thing, anything at all, so you can be right about something. That's what it feels like. I'm not saying that's what you do, but when you do things like that, when you nitpick people to an unnecessary degree, that's what you're saying to the world. That's what you're projecting. You're saying, I needed to be right so badly, but I couldn't find anything real to correct. Come on! <laughs> Anyhow, let's try to get two of them in there today, but before we do that, you already know what time it is. Zombie says, you might as well be doing a 0% gross playthrough at this point. Get that street cred. I don't want street cred, I want my speed stat. What are you saying? <laughs> Seriously, I can't believe how insane this actually is. I did see another person bring up Hey Yu's average stats, but I think they actually did it before the end of the last map so they, they were basing it on level five i think but at level seven which is what she is might i add i know it's kind of hard to tell based on her stats but trust me she technically is and she's about two points behind on speed which doesn't sound like a whole lot on paper but in reality it's so huge two points of speed is the difference between having a good time and having what we're about to have right here <laughs> i have no doubt but i don't know man i really I'm a strong believer in the law of averages, that's all I can say. I think that because Hey You is getting so screwed, that must mean, it must mean that one of our next characters is about to get super blessed. Must be. It's the only thing that makes sense. It's the only thing keeping me going, <laughs> to be honest. You just think. Deltray, there are no playable armor knights in Awakening. Kill. Am I a joke to you? Of course. Of course. I forgot all about Kill, the only playable armor knight in the game. That's my fault. That's my bad. I don't want to shoot myself in the foot here. We got to keep that credibility and all that. So yes, kill, of course, the only playable armor knight in the entire game. No first-gen armors, though. Pretty strange. Hayden Keeper. Friendship ended with Hey You. Muriel is now my best friend. She is. She is. How is she going to get one level that's better than all of Hey You's combined? That's all I'm really worried about right now. That's all I really would like to know. Mark Daniels. Plot twist. Hey You is actually Micaiah in a wig. I knew it! <laughs> So for anybody who didn't watch the Radiant Dawn playthrough, I'm pretty sure that Micaiah at the end of the game for me had about 9 speed. I think she had just barely double digit after getting her last promotion, and I do mean just barely. She got speed one time the entire game, I remember that. Oh yeah, I remember that. She got speed exactly once, at the very beginning of the game, and then never again. And finally, here comes Gale to drop the big bombshell on me. I laughed so hard when I saw this. Me. Why is Frederick still so reluctant to trust Hey You? Come on, she's risked her life so many times. Previously, on the last battle, Krom. All right, Hey You, we're outnumbered, outmanned, and totally surrounded. What's our strategy? 
Hmm, I know. Frederick, take Krom and ride directly into that ravenous horde. Everyone else, stand over here with me, away from danger. <laughs> Jesus Christ, she really is so selfish. You dastardly wench, I knew you were up to no good from the moment I first laid eyes on- Well then, you heard the lady. Onwards, Frederick. God damn it, sir. But sire, this plan is clearly- Onwards, Frederick. <laughs> Yes, sire. Oh god, when you put it that way, hey, <laughs> later that day. Uh, what next? Hey, you got our swords. Frederick, all covered in blood, gasping for breath. <laughs> sire, perhaps we should let someone else make plans for a while. Even the best of us need rest after all. Hint, hint. <sighs> perhaps she might let us take our own decisions at times. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Hey, you. What say you? <laughs> Are you nuts? <laughs> Have you seen those guys? We'll get slaughtered. No, no, no. Better idea. Frederick, take Krom across the river and deal with the enemies there. The rest of us will wait back here and take on any stragglers who get too close. Alright, sounds like a plan. Let's go, Frederick. I'll never forgive her for this. Ugh. <laughs> God damn it, dude. It really is. So I take it all back. It's very clear to me why Frederick has such a beef with Heyu now. So, in case there's anybody thinking I'm still defending her, nope, 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 nope. She is truly an awful being, in every sense of the word. Awful or no, though, we still have a few supports with her, so there's, uh, Sully Muriel. I don't know if I'm gonna do Stall and Kellum. Because I'm not using either of them, and it just feels like sort of a waste of time. I don't know, maybe I'll stick him on the next one, though, because I saw quite a few people who like Stall, so, I mean, I'll, I'll get to it eventually, but... I do actually want to get two fights today, so let's just go ahead and knock these out. Uh, yeah! I actually don't even know if I'm using Sully, to be honest, but... I really kind of want to try and use Samia just because her first level up was so good that I like... I don't know, I kind of want to... <laughs> I want somebody who's going to be decent, man. And since the game is screwing hey, you so hard, I, I figure it's either going to be Sumia who's going to end up really good, or Virion who's going to end up really good. Please just let it be Sumia though. <laughs> Sully, oh god, Sully, what's wrong? You look like a corpse. So worn out and thin, and your skin, it's green. Have you been poisoned? What have you eaten lately? J just the dried seaweed you gave me. Ate the whole bag last night. Oh, uh, uh. huh? So this is why nobody trusts you. Come on, hey you, you're trying to murder the shepherds from inside out. Frederick was right all along. Wait, did you say the whole bag? Yeah, Yeah. is that bad? <laughs> Sully, you're supposed to tear off a tiny piece and rehydrate it with water first. You idiot. The chunk I gave you was a month's supply. If you ate the whole thing... Oh, dear heavens, your poor bowels. You and your beaver are done for. Kill? Kill you for this? <laughs> sorry. Sully, I'm so sorry. I should have explained in more detail. Nah. Uh, my own damn fault. Taking shortcuts. But I won't make that mistake again. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like I'm dying. I'm gonna start training. Rebuild muscles. As soon as I'm better. Whoa. Sully was never heard from again. You must let me help you somehow. I just feel so awful about this. Very kind of you. Well, I don't know. Maybe... <laughs> Hold my beaver! <laughs> it's a good thing that armor that she's wearing looks so much like a toilet if she's gonna be vomiting all the time. Seems like a pretty convenient place. Oh gods, here it comes again! <laughs> <laughs> Yikes, that did not sound good. Maybe hey, you's just misunderstood. She's a prankster. She, yeah, that's what she is. She's actually a YouTuber. That's what this is. <laughs> Hi, this is hey, you, and welcome to my prank channel. <laughs> Today, we're going to kill my friend. Leave a like. All right, Muriel, sell me on you. I don't really know a whole lot about Muriel, I'll be honest. I think that my big thing is that usually Robin just kind of obsoletes her in a lot of ways. Not that there's anything wrong with using both. It's just that... Let's be honest with each other, right? If you were only going to use one magic user, then Robin, obviously. At least until Morgan comes along. And that's another thing. R Morgan is also just Robin number two. So it's like... <laughs> you know what I mean? Poor Muriel. She never really stood a chance. Although she's better than the other first-gen mage, for sure. Without any doubt in my mind. Probably less bulky, though. She has made a wet tissue paper. How discomposing. I can make that sound more like a girl, I guess. Uh, that looked like a pretty bad spill. Muriel, are you alright? Very well. A minor contusion. Benign. <sighs> Everything you were carrying went flying. I see your herbs, some papers, a doobie. Wait. Wait, a book? What is this? A book? A journal? 
Unhand that, madame. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I didn't realize it was so important. These two characters sound so bored together. <laughs> important. Hmm. Huh? Muriel. Right. I suppose it does bear some import, yes. It's a lodestar of sorts. One that points the way to the truth. Whoa. Wow, who wrote it? A famous mage or something? No. Not famous at all, no. The author was my mother. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that explains it. That explains the rough binding. Ah, uh, no offense intended. Still, that's amazing. Was your mother a mage as well? Or perhaps a scientist? Hmm. What is the impetus for your inquiry? Well, there went that. I tried to humanize her a little bit more, but no, no, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> impetus for my... Muriel, tell me something. Have you ever spoken with anybody ever? No, no. <laughs> Human contact drives me insane. You mean, why do I ask? Uh, I don't know. I'm curious. Wouldn't most people be? An autonomic reaction to conversational stimulus. I see. But she's not robotic, guys. She's a human being. Um. I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she is. Um, did I say something strange? No. Curious, perhaps. Meriting closer study, certainly. <laughs> Spontaneous, reactive, curiosity, fascinating. But what is the underlying mechanism? <sighs> I really think you're reading too much into this. Why would you make a robotic delta? I don't understand. <laughs> Okay, nobody said that. Nobody at all said that. Let's give this a shot. This one is pretty easy, honestly. For chapter four, two Felchins. Felchins. I think, technically. Forgive me. Prince Krom, please wait here while I summon the Khan. Good. Of course. God, that armor is so loud. That must be really, really awful to walk around in that all the time. At least she's not in the desert, though. The Khan is away? Right. Out training, I'd wager. The Khans of Ferox prefer battle to politics. Or rather, battle is their politics. Hmm. A warrior ruler, eh? I can picture him now. A giant of a man of unparalleled thu. His breast chest... His broad chest covered in hair. <laughs> oh, God. It's, he's like... She's pulling an Ina. What is this? She's just fantasizing about this guy, fangirling in her mind. I don't want to see what's inside Am your I head. Now? Am I now? Please do go on. <laughs> oh god, Flavia could murder hey you, I'm so sure. Huh? Not what you expected, huh? You're the uh, that is to say, the con, I presume. Exactly. One of them, yes. The East Con. My name is Flavia. I apologize for the troubles at the border, Prince Krom. You are welcome in Regna Ferox. Thank you. Thank you, but I'm confident we can put that misunderstanding behind us. After all, it's such an easy mistake to make, while with me wielding the Falchi and having the Exalt's brand tattooed on my left shoulder, as well as the Exalt's brand in my eye. But other than that, it could have been anybody. Is it true bandits posing as Elysians have been ransacking your bordered village? Right. Yes, those Plegian dogs. We found documents proving as much on the corpse of one of their captains. Plegia must see some kind of benefit in raising tensions between your kingdoms and ours. <sighs> Damn them! I... forgive me, your grace. That was indelicately put. Mm -hmm. Ha! Damn them and damn delicacy. Here at Ferox, we appreciate plain speech. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't really think this is the kind of place where that's really uh, a concern, Krom. We already saw how diplomacy went last time, right? In that case, you should have a word with your damn border guard. <laughs> you got like how he gets into it. He's like, yeah, all that stuff I said before, no, that would just be putting on airs. Fuck those guys. They made me play a map. I wasn't trying to play a map. Now that's Feroxy diplomacy. Yes, I like you already. I know why you've come here, Prince. But regrettably, I cannot provide any Feroxy troops for Elise. Huh? What? Why not? I lack the authority. Forgive me, but I don't understand. Aren't you the Khan? Listen. As I said, I'm one of the Khans. In Ferox, the Khans of the East and West hold a tournament every few years. But the victor requires total sovereignty over both kingdoms. And that means they have the final say when it comes to forging alliances. The West Khan won the last tournament, you see, and so... 
So, we are to receive no aid at all. No. Not if you always give up so easily. The next tournament is nigh, you see. And I am in need of champions. Hmm? What does that have to do with us? Oh, come on, Krom! What do you think? Listen. The captain of my border guard informs me you shepherds are quite capable. Perhaps you would consider representing the East in the upcoming tournament. If you win and I become ruling Khan, I will grant your alliance. Really? I would have assumed the Lysians had no place in such Feroxy traditions. Ha ha ha! Hey, I was gonna laugh. Let me let me do my thing, Flavia. Goddamn. On the contrary. The Khans themselves do not fight. They choose champions to represent them. Otherwise, our land would be rife with blood feuds and dead Khans. She raises a good point, yeah. <laughs> We don't involve comrades or kin for the same reason. Over time, it was decided the tournament should be fought by outsiders. Although the outsiders have never included foreign royalty that I know of. Ha! Regardless, it is your choice to make. Right. There is no choice, East Khan. My people are desperate. We face not only Plegia's constant attacks, but now the added threat of the Risen. If fighting for you is the quickest way to win an alliance, then we will take up our steel. Right. Haha, <laughs> oh I like you, Prince Krom. I do hope you survived the tournament. Did I mention it's a battle to the death? Wait, no, no you did not. Well it is. Come, I'll show you the arena where the tournament is held. But be wary, I hear an equally able swordsman champions the West Khan. It's alright. He shall be defeated by Elise's necessity. <laughs> well spoken again. I look forward to seeing if you're equally skilled with a blade. Oh, don't you worry. Oh, wow. We're just right into it, huh? So I'm actually going to leave first things first because I want to see how strong Sumia needs to be in order to clown this guy because I want to level her up. And she is pretty decent at taking out these mages. So it looks like if she wants to kill them in one go, she needs 16 attack. How strong is she? And how strong is she with the javelin, more importantly? Uh, Sully out, Lisa out, probably. Spring Muriel again. Uh, okay, yeah, I see how we're doing this. Okay, let me let me just do that real quick. So at this point, as I started to say at the end of the last part, you can access the forge at this point, and you can do this. Yeah, you can do this an unlimited amount of times in this game. So there's no like once per chapter limit or anything like that. So I can forge as much as I want. And if I've done my math correctly, if I forge up this javelin by one point, and then buy a strength tonic, and then give that to Samia. She should actually be able to defeat the mages on this next map in one round because she's so fast that she'll be doubling them. And honestly, let's just go all in. It's either Sumia or Heiyu for this Drago shield. But Heiyu's so disappointing that I'm going to favor Sumia instead. <laughs> Basically. Now, I don't think that actually makes a difference for her here, but it could in the long term. Uh, how strong are these guys anyways? 29 attack. Oh, something kind of annoying about this game. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it is depending on the skill, pretty obnoxious, is that the enemies have random skills. So these guys could have had the HP plus 5 skill, for example, which would make them way the hell tankier than this, which is uh, not really what I want to deal with, I'll be honest. It's much better that they don't have it, because that really changes things. Dealing 5 extra damage at this point can be pretty tricky. Uh, speaking of strength, though, these guys actually have 29 attack power. Wow. We don't want any part of that. So I'm actually going to go back and buy him a defense tonic as well, just so that he stops getting dropped immediately by everything. Uh, and this guy certainly does, because he has weapon triangle. I actually think this guy does 21. But still, let's let's definitely reduce the damage a little bit. Because if I can survive this guy with Krom, he can double him and do like 20-something, which ain't too bad. So yeah, let me do that. Now, I think it would have really helped if they just made all of the tonics available at once. That would have certainly made this game much more bearable because the way they handle it in Awakening is that they're essentially spread out throughout the first part of the game. Now, if there was something like a speed tonic available, I don't know, just an example. No particular reason why I would pick that one. But if there were a speed tonic available right now, it would make the earlier parts of the game a lot less dependent on RNG and luck and growth rates and things like that. I mean, to be fair, we're getting screwed, which could happen to any character, so it's not really like a Robin exclusive thing. But, man, it would help so much. It would help so much if we were even remotely average. Just even average would be good enough for me at this point. Yeah, not a chance in hell we're doubling that guy, and because Fred never got any speed, we can't double this guy either. Otherwise, I might, like... 
I, I might draw this guy with Fred instead, but he can't double, so there's no sense. Alright, let's give it a go. Crom! Crom, look! Hmm. I see him. Hey. Marth, one question before we begin. <laughs> Fine, then. Our swords can speak for us. Where did you get that? There's no way. Tell me, who taught you to fight like that? As cool as that cutscene was, here's a friendly reminder that Grom actually gets doubled to death by him. Yeah, Marth actually just rocks him, so, uh, whoops! Nice cutscene, though. Marth is a gifted swordsman, and his men look capable as well. We should mind our distance. Alright, Sumia, I want you to charge right in. Wh what You heard the lady, Sumia. Okay. <laughs> She's gonna move, yeah, right about here. We don't want to be in range of that fighter, obviously. Now, if I've done the math correctly, this should be one dead mage. And that's why tonics are so good, by the way, because look at that. We've actually pumped Sumia all the way up to 13 strength. Despite her being as weak as she is. And that's another thing about this game, by the way. Javelins are very, very weak, because 13 strength is a fair amount, but we still only have 16 attack altogether. I don't know if this forge will necessarily help me in the long term, but it's definitely gonna help me get her leveled up right now. Because that's at least two things on this map she can kill all by herself. Likewise, Krom is not getting doubled by you. I say we draw on these fighters. They're gonna come for us no matter what. Move like right there. And yeah, Krom can move over here. We'll use the Felchion. Maybe they should be paired up, but I, I fear that if I have too many characters paired up, then uh, I won't have enough firepower to go around. So we'll move in Virion a little bit. If anything, I guess he could have been next to Hey You, just to build that support a little bit. Yeah, this takes so much damage. We all take so much damage. Muriel! Oh, Muriel! Ho, ho, ho. It's not like she's worse than that Hey You chick, though, right? Oh, nice dodge there, Krom. Dual attack, dual attack! Oh, uh oh. Nah, we'll be fine. We'll be A-OK. -okay. And worst case scenario, I can switch from... Uh, I can switch from Sumia to Fred, so it's not like it matters like that. Oh, nice. Oh, actually not nice. I don't want to break the hammer now. Oh, wow. With one more kill, though, she's actually going to level up, huh? Okay, let's see what we can do down here first, and then, if possible, I will have Sumia kill this mage. Oh, hell! Whoa, Sumia! What? She's so good! Yeah, I mean, I can get the kill with Sumia, but I think Virion is going to be the one to struggle a lot more. So, instead, we're going to set up a kill for him taking advantage of the fact that Krom dodged. Obviously, I wouldn't be doing this if he had not, but he did, so we take those. And actually, who knows? Maybe... Ooh, nice. There it is, finally! Pick a god and pray! That's my favorite cut and quote ever. Ever. Ever, dude. Well, basically, by moving Fred here, we actually give ourselves a way to attack this guy at melee with Krom, so even if... Even if this has gone, like, super left, we can somehow kill this guy with Krom, I'm so sure. Uh, but that's not what we want to do. No, we're going to use Muriel for that. And we're going to do some trade, not trade, but, uh, pair-up shenanigans, basically. Muriel can kill this one. She can easily survive a hit from the mage, being a mage herself. And the only thing I'm really worried about is maybe having Sumia accidentally kill the mage, because I'd really rather her not. I'd really rather her not. And of course, we're going to take a million from this guy, but... Krom does have the elixir, so if I need to take on some of the knights with him, I can do it easily. He does have the defense tonic. The only thing that would have sucked there would be a miss, obviously. We take a lot in return, but so what, man? So what? Now we're going to take Hey You. Like so. And now we can kill this guy with Virion. Like so. Because we need to get experience on him, because he's clearly one of my best units possible. So, the more experience on him, the better, easily. Look at that. Look at this guy go. Here we go. No, no, no. Get your fucking stat. 
Why? I hope I die. I hope one of these guys crits me into the next life. That's my current wish. My truest desire is to just get blown away by something. Oh, crit me! Crit me! Oh my god. Never lucky. Never lucky. Okay, so Virion actually dies. Wow. Oh crap, everybody died. Why is this guy so strong? Does somebody around here give res? Nobody around here gives res. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mistakes were made. Totally unintentional mistakes, mind you. For sure. Uh, actually, I just realized that's not true. Samia gives res. Well, here's a freebie. Krom to here with the elixir. Oh, uh, we do like one of these moves. Yeah, this should be fine. Trade Sumia to... Virion. Yeah, then we'll drop off AU. We can do like this. Virion now survives. Sumia can do 12 without Fred. Right? <laughs> yeah, she can do 12 without Fred. Okay, cool. Uh, so. Iron Bow it is. Crit me, crit me, crit me. Oh, you didn't think suddenly I wanted to survive now, did you? Of course he misses. <sighs> These level ups have been something else. But Samia won't let me down. She's actually going to get a perfect one right here. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones, guys. I really can. So let's go. Hit point, strength, skill, speed. I told you. What did I say? What did I say? She's so good. <laughs> She's so damn good. Now, Grom actually doubles this guy, and Frederick has a good chance to jump in here. And if he does... Oh, I didn't give him the hammer, because I am trash. Yeah, that was actually supposed to be a dead knight right there. But it could be. Actually, no, it can't be anything. That is no kill for Samia. Oh, wow, look at this. Yeah, if I get... <laughs> there we go. That's how this is happening. Okay. I actually think that Marth will start moving now, right? So... Yes, a little something like this. Uh, because Virion so skillfully dodged earlier. Look, man, I would just be using Frederick here. What, you want me to not take advantage of the fact that Virion is the GOAT? I think you're insane. That's what I think. A little bit too easy, I feel. Now, uh, if he somehow 1v1s this guy, he'll level up again, which would be cool. Not really counting on that necessarily, but it's certainly a possibility. Do you think that, uh, old Sumia actually takes a hit from this guy? No, she... Actually, if she were on very, very high HP, like, as in absolute maximum, she would. So, that's what we're doing. Give her the jabby back. And then just smack this guy with the hammer, honestly. Yep, seems to make a lot of sense to me. And that's going to build up our support with young Sumia as well, which is what I'm looking for here. Because these two are a power couple, man. Without a doubt. At least in terms of gameplay. I don't know, I kind of like it in terms of story too, because she's like the... She's like the newbie, and then Fred's like this veteran, more or less. So it kind of works, I think. I don't know, I haven't read the support in forever, but... On paper, it sounds fine. Get rid of you, there's no need for that. Equip the jabby. She actually does double by herself. Look at how good Sumia is. <laughs> and she's actually only in range of the one, which is what's important here. So we do one of those moves, and now everybody is safe. Yeah, this map is not particularly challenging, I have to be honest. Especially when we're going to be doing stuff like that. Hell yeah, hey you. I like how she's about to die, and yet she still flawlessly blocked the attack. My strength is here. There's an easy amount of experience for Sumia. There we go, Krom. More like that. Way more like that. Now I think I can kill him. With Sumia. Potentially. Yup, here comes Marth. Marth, Marth, Marth. Uh, how do we do this? Everybody is about to die, I've just realized. <laughs> Help! You think that Muriel or literally anybody would do 14 to this guy? We should, right? Marth, Marth, Marth! Ooh, that actually really hurts. <laughs> oh, god damn, Marth. If nothing else, I'm so sure that... Yeah, one of Muriel and or... Hey, you can finish this guy off. And of course, if we weren't getting, like, blocks and crap, I could always run away. 
there's nothing stopping me from doing that. I could, but since the RNG is actually being a little bit nice to me for once, I say we just go all in, right? What are the chances that... Oh, she does. She actually does, but if she misses, she is so dead. Well, here's what we do. We attack with Virion yet again. Oh, actually, Virion. Oh, not enough to take him out. Not enough to take him out at all. I was kind of hoping that it would. Obviously, Virion, believe it or not, struggles with experience a little bit more than somebody like, oh, I don't know, anybody else at all. <laughs> We're living one move away from death. By the way, hi, my name is Deltre. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Expect to see this sort of thing a lot. I don't care, man. We're living on the edge. Thank God this is not Lunatic Plus, because you just know that guy would have had vantage. And I would have forgotten. No, here comes speed, probably, right? Alright, balls to the wall, man. Sumia, go. We got this. 85. <laughs> 100, more like. Told ya. <laughs> this kind of behavior makes me so nervous, man. Silver Lance it is. We need to get that nice, meaty 25. And please don't get the tipper. Please don't get a tipper on me. Actually, if I take Marth, will I get... <laughs> if I, yeah, if I take... If I take my Marth, uh, I won't actually get doubled. So there you go. Although, actually, I've just realized, yeah, I've just fully processed that, I don't know, we got luck. We got uh, luck from that pair-up, so we're good. Yeah, they can't even crit me now. No dippers here. Let us fight with honor. May the best soldier win. All right, well, I have about 20 levels on you right now, so, uh... Krom, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, cool. We can give that to somebody else. Namely... Oh no, Archer boy, you're too far! To hell with it! Sumia, let's go! And that's a kill for Virion. What's the next map? The next map is... Well... Yeah, I remember. Okay, we're gonna do it like this. Yeah, Virion, for the kill. And since Sumia... Oh! I guess it's gonna be Sumia! Impressive, if not surprising. Level? Yeah! Okay, so here comes another one, right? Told you. I told you, she was so good. She is so good! Oh my god! I told you, baby! Law of averages! Law of averages! I found all the good girls. They're on Samia. <laughs> Perfect! That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god! Oh, I can't even... Oh my god. My heart. My heart, y'all. <laughs> this is the best Sumia I have ever had. That's right, game. She is tired of your shit. She will no longer be the butt of your jokes. Sumia is here, ready to take lives. And then go bake some pies. Well fought. You have my respect. And perhaps more to the point, you have your alliance. I will provide Elise with the soldiers she needs. <laughs> Truly. Thank you, East Khan. I should thank you. It feels like ages since I've held full power. Come, my new friends. Tonight we celebrate. And I think we're about to get a new unit as well. Now I'm crossing my fingers for Lon Koo. Oh, great. Bah! Any excuse for a party and Flavia jumps on it. I feel like he would sound something like that, right? Look at this badass, though. Got the eye patch and everything. Yeah. I think Basilio's cool. And he's actually pretty good. Now, somebody actually did say that they think that some of the characters in this game should get, like, hard mode bonuses, right? Because that's something that the older games did. Where, if you played on a higher difficulty, characters who have a little bit more trouble keeping up will get extra bonuses to their stats to make up for the higher level of difficulty. And I agree, that would be a really good idea. I, I think they should have done that. And what's funny is, they did do that. <laughs> that's exactly what they did, in fact. But, they didn't do crap for the Shepherds. Uh, every one of the Shepherds, nothing. Not a single extra point. But once you get past Cordelia, I think, then all of the characters start getting hard mode and lunatic mode bonuses. There's actually separate levels, so you get certain stats on hard mode, and then you get even more stats on lunatic mode. Which is good design. I, I think that was a good idea. But I think they forgot about 10 units or so, so uh, maybe next time, don't forget your starting crew. I'm sorry, have we met? But I, I just bring that up because Basilio's stats are actually incredibly good on lunatic mode. 
Or at least on paper, I guess I'll have to see what the enemies look like by the time we get there, but... I'm the West Khan, you so rudely removed from power. Your ha- that's not what his voice was. You're handy with a sword, boy. I thought for sure I'd pick the stronger man. Listen. What do you know about him? Hmm. You mean that Marth? Bah! He's just some cell sword with delusions of grandeur. All I know is that he turned up one eve and knocked my old champion flat. It was love at first sight, and I'm generally too old for such things. <laughs> I can't laugh. I, I haven't like read the manga for this one, but here's one that I do know. In the in the manga of Fire Emblem Awakening, the whole reason that Lan Ku loses to Marth is because he accidentally cops a feel. And I thought that is so funny. I like to imagine that that is exactly what happened. <laughs> Anyway, he's gone now. Up and fled the moment the tournament ended. He's so dark and mysterious. <sighs> no, Lisa, bad thoughts. Huh? Sounds like Marth's got at least one fan. Marth, Marth, Marth! <sighs> well, I mean, come on. He is sort of dreamy, isn't he? Hey. This says all kinds of things about Lisa that, like, whoa, man. Odin, you're lucky to exist. That's all I'm saying. And you're sort of dreaming. <laughs> Youch, lighten up, big brother. I was just kidding. Shall we then? My lord, my lady, if this fascinating discussion is over, we'd best return home. The Exalt will want news of this new alliance immediately. Yes. Right as always, Frederick. I agree. Kind of. Hey. Old boy, before you go, I have a little present for you. It's your next best unit. Ah, good. Good. All right, the Stoic Swordsman, Lon Ku. <laughs> What's up? All right. Now, this is Lon Ku, my former champion. Not much for talking, mind you, but he's peerless with a sword. As good as Marth in my mind. To be honest, I can't figure out how Marth bested him so quickly. What? Marth beat him, but he looks so big and strong. Back. Away, woman! Huh? Wait, wait, what, whoa! Hey, what did I say? <laughs> Let's just say that ladies tend to put Lon Ku on edge. Nonetheless, he is capable. Perhaps he has even got the makings of a con. Consider him West Ferox's contribution to the Elysian cause, and we will take that with honor. Thank you. You're certain about this. You really just want to give me a unit that gives plus five speed? Yes, yes, he's your man now. Listen. And Lon Ku, you have no objections. Right. He gives orders. I stab people. I think our... <laughs> very, very to the point. I like this guy. I think our roles are clear. Good. Well, all right then. Welcome aboard. No red flags here. Oh, the story. No. Ah, then Regina Ferrax will support Elise. Thank you, Krom. I knew sending you was the right choice. Mm. You should see Ferox's warriors. Perhaps now our people will be safe from... From exposition? No. Oh, it's Fila. Your Grace. Your Grace. M my lord, forgive me, but I bring alarming news. What's happened? Fila, slow down, please. What's happened? Right away. Plegian soldiers have been sighted inside our southwest border. They attacked a village in Themis and abducted the Duke's daughter. <gasps> but that would be Maribel. Krom, we have to do something. <clears throat> There's more. King Gangrel of Plegia claims Lady Maribel invaded his country. He demands we pay reparations for this insult. Gods! <clears throat> it's weird to believe a dastard like the mad King of Plegia. Enough. Peace, Krom. We must keep our wits about us. Still. We should put a sword in his gut and be done with it. I like Krom. <laughs> the Mad King has been trying to provoke war with Elise at every step. He won't stop until he drags his whole continent to hell with him. Yes, my lord. I agree with the prince, your grace. Now where did I put my sword? No, wait, you guys, hold on now. We must demonstrate to Plegia that such actions have consequences. I understand your feelings, Krom. Truly, I do. But if we give him the war that he wants, then we lose, no matter what the outcome. Our last conflict nearly ruined the Halidom. It left Elysian homeless and starving. We cannot repeat that mistake. 
I will offer parley. I will offer parley with King Gangrel. No, come on, Emrin. Yeah. Don't bow down to this guy. Em, no, you can't. Please reconsider. Your Grace, he cannot be trusted to act in good faith. So either we choose to march to war or leave Lady Maribel to die. No, I will not accept that. Very well. Forgive me, Your Grace. I spoke out of turn. No, you didn't feel... Ah! Emrin is too kind for her own good, man. This isn't gonna end well, man. Pray, allow the Pegasus Knights to accompany you, though. By the way, it actually is explainable why Subia doesn't have a Pegasus Knight. And this was one that I do know. It's because she's in training. She's not officially a Pegasus Knight just yet. I mean, now she is. Don't get me wrong. That doesn't explain why we randomly found one just sitting on the side of the road. But no, the part about her not having her own, no, that makes sense. She's also best friends with Cordelia. So there you go. So she would have the experience, basically. Or so I assume. Fun fact for you. That's right, you didn't think Deltra would be teaching you about Awakening, now did ya? <laughs> I'm going to. Someone has to save you from your good intentions. Mm -hmm. And I want to be there for you and Maribel. <laughs> Tell him, Lisa. As you wish. Thank you all. Your strength will be mine. Uh, but first we're going to go mess around in this village. Oh, I guess not. Wow, this is a longer one. For sure. Oh, I know. Because good old Rickon, right? Are you ready? Yeah. Well then, is everyone ready to go? It's a long march through the western mountains to the Plegian border. Oh, hey. Don't forget me, Captain. Me, Rickon, the best mage. Captain, I'm all packed. When do we leave? <clears throat> Rickon, how did you get out of your prison? You go back inside. You're not old enough for this mission. But Captain, you know my skill with magic. You know I can handle myself. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's not too hard to handle yourself from the bench, but what do I know? I'd feel safer with your magic here, protecting the garrison. All right, we're off then. Be good. Don't make me rescue you, kid. I swear to God, if you make me burn a rescue staff. I promise, Krom. Haha, -ha, my fingers are crossed the whole time. Hey. Be good. Gods, how old does he think I am? I'm at least 14. Well, I'll show him just how good I can be. No, dude, I believe you. You don't have to prove anything. Who are you trying to impress? I don't... <laughs> Ooh, Anna. What up, Anna? Speedwing? Second seal. Eh, yeah, that's pretty good. Not the best price, but... And here is exactly my beef. Now I can't buy strength or defense tonics until tomorrow, hopefully. And even then, maybe. Maybe. So, that that's just annoying, really. It really is. And I, I know, it sounds like not a whole lot. It really does. Two points of a stat, so what, you think? But if that two points means all of a sudden you're killing something that you weren't killing, then it's always worth the 150. If that two points of defense means that you're suddenly surviving a hit that would have ordinarily killed you, then of course it was worth the 150. Not to mention you saw how much experience Sumia got on the last map just because we spent 150 gold on her. And now I can't do it. So that is something that they fixed in Fates for the Better. And I'm really glad that they did. Because that just changes everything so much. Potentially. And we also got this barracks feature. Uh, which are basically the house everyone from New Mystery if you watch that one. But if not, it's basically random little events. You can get things like weapon experience on characters. Uh, they can find items. Build their supports. It's all random. It just depends. Uh, what's this? Is it edible? I haven't eaten in minutes. A wilder wind. I was hoping for like a... Like one of those temporary stat booster items. That'd be pretty sweet. Because there's some ones you can get that are, are pretty good. They'll boost multiple stats by like two points or so. Ah, uh, so another solo one. Looks like we got a Lan Ku. I better my swordsmanship. Nothing else. Well, that was a weird conversation. At least we got Muriel down here. I hope she doesn't continue to disappoint me. That would be pretty bad. Yep, to say the least. Ah, here we go, Muriel herself. Did someone mis- uh, did someone misplace this? People ought properly secure their possessions. Potion, potion, potion. Ephraim's Lance. I say that like it's a bad item. I'm not going to be using the weapons, probably. More likely than not. But if I got the temporary stat boosters, I would probably use those. See how well I polish my equipment. The bard shall sing of Virion's legendary shine. 
Wow, Virion. Oh, look at you, big man. Big man, Virion. And another solo. Usually you get some with multiple characters at a time, but I guess just not today. You know, you've gone very skilled. Care to pair up in the coming battle? Who are you talking to, man? Alright, all right, real talk. You know what's really funny about Kill'em, though? Uh, his reclassing option is Assassin. No lie. <laughs> it would just be so perfect. Nobody would see him coming. Uh, I will get Kramit Samia eventually, but I am deliberately ignoring this one because... Uh, for reasons. This one, like I said, I will do it eventually, but not right now. I can't afford to. So that said, we only have the Krom and Fred level B, which is a, it's, it's a good one to do. This might actually get Fred up to the point where he can actually double things like he should be. <laughs> I don't know. Is 15 speed enough for this next map? I really hope that it is. My deepest apologies, my lord. Had I known you'd run from tent to tent rending the posters, I never would have... Frederick. What the hell did you think? I don't know. I've just always been so impressed with your physique, my lord. Well, that's... That's fine, Frederick, but come on, man. Gods, I've never been so embarrassed in all my days. My sister nearly pulled a muscle laughing. Oh, God. He put it in Lisa's tent? Why? Listen, Frederick, we need to talk about this. I know everything you do is for my sake, and I appreciate it, but it's... Well, at times it's a little extreme, and other times it's damn near traumatic. <laughs> I'm a grown man, Frederick, and I'm capable of taking care of myself. No. Tis not my place to doubt your capability, my lord, but I have duties as a knight. If anything were to happen to you or Lisa, I couldn't... I don't know if I could stand it. Really? But you do see the difference between being a knight and being a nanny. Forgive me. I'm sorry, my lord, but I would risk your embarrassment rather than forsake my duty. <laughs> fine, fine. Let's try this again. How about next time, just ask me if you want to hand out my nudes. How about that? I don't understand. <laughs> What's the issue? Let's pretend you're my lord, and I'm your loyal knight. Now let's say you sneeze. Just one little sneeze. Suddenly, I come in dashing up to you with a blanket and tea in hand. Or let's imagine you make an offhand remark about how fish sounds good. And I ride across two mountains to a freezing river to secure dinner. Or heavens preserve us. Let's suppose you look tired, or perhaps even yawn. So I bring a parade of increasingly arcane herbal cures to your tent for the next hour. Okay, now you've gone too far. That was only one time, my lord. Frederick, how would that make you feel? My lord, I... I would be enraged, my lord, and humiliated. You see, at some point, such assistance becomes a burden. I respect your sense of duty as a knight, but you must be sane about it. You waste too much time and energy on my sister and myself, and it saddens us. If you want to make us happy, take some time for yourself. Relax. Enjoy your life. Right. Is that an order, sire? Right. <sighs> if it was, I have no doubt you'd obey without question. But that would defeat the point. It's not an order, Frederick. It's a refret. It's a request from one friend to another. <laughs> my lord. Very well. If it is your wish, I shall limit my actions to a minimum. I apologize for any trouble my efforts may have caused until now. Good. Thanks for understanding, and for your dedication, Frederick. Ah. It is my pleasure to serve, my lord. Ah, uh, that is, within reason. So, what am I gonna do with these fish, then? Oh my god, Fred. Oh yeah, Lanku. I, I mean, I'm bringing him, I'm for sure deploying him on the next map, so we can just wait for that, I suppose. Alright, let's go ahead and give this one a shot, too. Now we have our first parrot log. Single to sword. Now, these are totally optional. You never have to do any of these for any reason. Although, it's usually a good idea. Alright, so here's some random villager guy. Help! You gots to help us! I'm begging you, my lords! Hmm? Slow down. What happened? <laughs> Oi! There's the wee piglet! I don't know why he sounds like that. Great. Bandits. Who would have seen it coming? What's this? A little lonely come to watch over his channel. Ha ha ha! Aw, damn me! Sh shepherds! <laughs> That's right. So what'll it be? Run and live, or fight and die? <clears throat> Ugh. Listen. Quickly, lad. What happened here? <clears throat> y yes, my lord. Y yes, my lord. Right away, my lord. Er, if it pleases your graciousness. You alright? Uh, maybe just hold off on titles for now. What's your name? Donnie. Donnie. Uh, that, that is... is Dumb. Oh, <laughs> see, this is what I'm saying. Sometimes it feels like they were gonna go full on with the voice acting, right? Because why else would you have a line so specific? Like, what is he ever gonna say that again? You know what I mean? It's it's kind of weird. It really is. It kind of raises my eyebrow a little bit. I can't lie. Uh, your Majesty, fool. I live in the village just beyond, sir. 
<sighs> no, I guess that'll do. Now what happened? <sighs> that rotten tooth pig sting bandit you just ran <laughs> you just ran off attacked us. Uh pardon my language, your lordliness. Yeah, those rotten pig to what did he even say? <laughs> Rotten two pigs thing. <laughs> He's basically dropping f bombs. Oh, I'm the only one what got away, and even then, just barely. They were rounding up the others to haul them off to a bandit camp. Please, sir, you got to save them folk. My ma's one of them, and she's all I got in this world. Please, your royal highness. God. Ah, uh, this blasted war seems to spawn more evils by the day. All right, Donnie, we'll save your ma. Can you lead us to her? I owe you. Ah, oh, shoot. Thanks, my lord. Thank you. Just follow me, your sirness. <laughs> Your sirness? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeehaw! And you're sure about this? Right. On the grave of my sainted mother, I swear it. Wait, I already forgot what he sounded like. On the grave of my sainted mother. It was Crom and the Shepherds, no mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this the exact same guy from the prologue, or am I just high? A fancy lord will fetch a high ransom from noble folk. We'll have the little man squealing for mercy in no time. Oh, oh we got nothing to take, sirs. Please let our children go. What? Quit your bleeding. What? Oi, Ruddy. I think this cow's the mum of the brat who ran away. That was much closer to his... Yeah, that was what he sounded like, right? Say, I know this one. Man, these guys are all country dudes, huh? You're the wife of the man what broke me rib last time we were here. Oh. And you killed him for it, you monster. I wish you'd done you first. Small wonder this brat's got more brass than brains if you're his mum. Well, guess we'll see for ourselves when we catch him, eh? Maybe we'll even make you watch as we get him. <laughs> no, please, he's just a boy. Oh, I wouldn't worry about any of that. <laughs> this here's where they take and come camp, your lordshipness. <laughs> I like how he just keeps adding more onto it. It was lordship, <laughs> not lordshipness, super commie lord. <laughs> Ah, uh, right. Thanks, Donnie. Stay close now. Huh? Uh, beg pardon, my lord. You don't mean I, I, I can't fight, sir? I ain't never even stuck a pig before. Uh, uh, oh, uh, sorry. I just assumed. What with that spear that you have right there? Oh, this? No, it's my walking stick. <laughs> uh, all right. Look, just stay here. You'll be fine. No. I wish I was as strong as you, sirs and madams. Kick that scum out single-handedly, I would. Right. And then you should fight and grow stronger. But I ain't. Mm. No man is born a warrior, Donnie. And farm work makes for fine training. A sickle's not far from a sword, after all. Bandits may be tougher than wheat, but the principle's the same. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, my lord. I can fight too. As you say, I'm no warrior, but these are my people. I got to do what I can. And do what he can, he shall. Which is not a whole lot right now, but hey. <laughs> Everyone in place. Yeah. We're ready. Uh. All right, so he has an interesting little recruitment here. We'll see that in a moment. No, all right, no lie, I I just went back and waited for the dang old spawns to disappear. So, uh, yeah, it's been a minute. <laughs> I definitely need to do that, though, because, well, you'll see more specifically when we get into it. But basically, the tonics make such a huge difference on this map that I'm not... I'm not forgoing all of the experience on people who are not named Frederick just because the game decided that I needed to have a map spawn there. And if I don't have these tonics, then I can't use some of these characters. For example, Lon Koo gets straight up one shot by these guys, and yes, it's true, he'll probably dodge, but I don't like the fact that he gets one hit KO'd. But if he has two more defense, he actually survives. But it's not really in your control whether or not you have that option. It's all just RNG, man. It just depends on if the game decides you can buy these tonics or not. And if there happens to be a mass spawn, then you're done. And that's all there is to it, sadly. But... With a little bit of patience, we'll be fine. The, the other issue is that there is no guarantee that the map spawns disappear after a day or anything like that. Nope, they can take forever if they want to. So that was something that should have been changed without a doubt. Tonics are too important. They're too important to lock behind luck like that. Fight and get stronger, he says. Guess it can't hurt to try. I sure hope I don't get in the way. Gosh, that would just be awful. Uh, if Donnie levels up, oh crap. If Donnie levels up in this chapter, he will join the Shepherds. If he fails to grow, it's back to the farm for him when the battle ends. That's what I missed. Okay. So basically, as it says, you need to get Donnie Boy at least one level up before he will join you. If you do not, you do not get to keep him after this chapter. It's not too bad, though. We're actually going to start off with Lan Ku right here. 
Good one, Crom. Save me that uh, RNG. Save me that roll there. And we are actually going to trade Donnie this spear that I forged that you guys didn't see. Yes, that's right. The secret tech. Give him a forge, man. And we do have to roll a 74 because it's Donnie, but whatever. We get it. We get it. And now all we need to do is block off this left-hand side with somebody like Sully, which is exactly why she's here. That's why I gave her the bronze sword so that she has a very good chance to either outright dodge or at the very least survive. She does for sure survive, but she also has a very good shot to just not get hit, which would be better, obviously. Nice. Something about that thief is that sometimes he has this uh, underdog ability, which really sucks when it happens, but there's nothing you can do. It's just one of those random avoid boosting skills that you just kind of have to deal with. And here comes Sumia. This is exactly why we needed that extra bit of strength on her. So we waited for the tonic. It was worth it. And uh, now we've recruited Donnie right there. So that's how you do that, basically. Pretty decent level up. I guess we can start with Donnie Boy, and then we'll talk about Lan Ku. Uh, Donnie, as you might expect from a villager type character, has a billion in every growth rate. So he levels up very well. However, he does not start very good. As you can see, his base stats are nothing to write home about. And that was after a good level up right here. So yeah, his start is absolute trash absolute trash but if you can put up with that for long enough then you will be rewarded with a solid enough unit and honestly with the way awakening is and you having to baby literally everybody anyways I don't know it just doesn't feel that different it just doesn't feel like Donnie needing babysitting is somehow a burden compared to any other character at this point because everybody does to some extent I don't know it's kind of it's kind of weird in a way usually characters like that aren't too good because there's such a pain in the ass to train and other units are usually very easy to train but that's so not the case here it's so not the case here we're actually gonna go with fred yeah the iron axe is enough if and only if sumia can land her attacks you'll see what i'm trying to do here in a second oh uh, yeah we'll go with fred and thank god sumia being good i think that's what we're gonna do because we still want to get her experience after all just because she's a murder machine right now doesn't mean i want that to stop suddenly no no no, no, I'd rather keep her that way. Thank you, if you don't mind. Speaking of murder machines, we got Lan Ku over here. And compared to Donny Boy, he's much more worthwhile in my opinion. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> You're joking. Well, maybe he pulls something out of his ass. I don't know. I guess we're just going to see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Getting nailed by that 20-something. Man, oh, man. Yeah, Sumia lives, though. Easily. Alright, I'm not going out without Lanku, and then we can actually properly talk about him. Good enough! Alright, Jesus Christ, Lanku! You're making Sully look like a dodge tank here? God damn! And we do actually have to be fairly quick, because there is a thief heading on over to those treasure chests. I'm not entirely sure if uh, this one thief is going to grab them both, but if he does, then, I mean, we have to... We have to take risks basically because Frederick can't double these guys if he had even average speed if he was merely average on speed he plus Krom together would be able to do it but sadly he hasn't got a single point so I the only way to save the treasure at this point is to take a little bit of risks we have to get rid of these guys quickly and timely it's the only possible way so we can have Donny boy do that I hope you didn't think I wasn't using him or something because you would be crazy to think that <laughs> but I think I was finally starting to get over to Lan Ku. Now, this guy is a Myrmidon through and through. Very fast. Very, very fast. Not the strongest guy in the world. Although not too weak either because it's Awakening and a lot of characters have the ability to grow pretty insane. If given the proper amount of time, right? But for the time being, Lan Ku is very, very good overall. Let's go ahead and use the Iron Axe here and attempt to give this over to Sumia. Very fast character, though, that Lan Ku. And... He's able to double a lot of things at this point in the game, which is a very noteworthy trait, in my opinion, because as you can see by my team, that's it's kind of at a premium, especially at the early parts of the game. So anybody that can double reliably is at least decent in my book. There we go. Nice experience on Samia. Yeah, it was not likely that he would get hit twice. Oh, nice. That's actually going to help us out a little bit, I think. Yeah. Oh. oh. Level up for Hey You! Speed? 
No, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> uh, I've got it. I've got it, I think. Okay, so Sumia throws the Javi right here. She's not going to miss. It's Sumia. Yeah. It's Sumia, which is why this level up is about to be bonkers, too. Watch this. <laughs> She's so good, guys. I can't... Has she missed strength a single time? I actually think the answer is no. Jesus Christ, this lady is unstoppable. She's unstoppable. Wow, I mean... <laughs> what can I say? Honestly, what can I say? Good, that's what we wanted right there, though. You can go ahead and pop this guy. Nope, 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 nope. Take the fire spell, actually. Ah, look at all those menus. Yeah, take the fire spell, though, just for the sake of not missing. Do like that. Uh, I can take Krom. Yeah, I mean, Krom survives, but what, the reason we're doing this is to move Frederick a little bit closer. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, seeing as to how... Well, first of all, what item do you have? Let's give him the killing edge in case this triggers these guys to move. I don't think that it will. But I, I, at any rate, I want him a little bit closer because he may be able to get onto that pillar over on the left-hand side. Yep, that actually is going to trigger them to move. That's kind of good in a way, though, really. Yeah, because now I can easily kill that guy. Man, I was going to give this one to Donnie, boy. But uh, that's not going to happen, I've just realized. So, uh, the reason being that I need to clear away from Fred, that's actually way more important. So, Krom it is, I guess, with the rapier, just so as to not miss, hopefully. As we don't, cool, level up for Krom. 10 speed? 10 speed, there it is. So now we actually give an extra point of speed when paired up with Krom, which is just really nice. Uh, for a lot of reasons, really, mainly that he and Frederick are well on their way to an A support, potentially. At which point we'd be getting a massive 6 speed. Speaking of working on support still, let's pair those two. We're gonna go all in with Fred, honestly. I I don't see an alternative here. If I really want to save these treasures, we still have two turns to do it. We have two turns to clear away. And we also need to move in a little bit. Fred's not in a particularly high amount of danger right here. Especially once I move Lonkyu right here. Now, it looks bad. It certainly does. We didn't get defense on you, did we? Hey, you? No, we didn't. Good. It looks bad, but it's actually fine because this guy is going to attack Hey, you. Due to the fact that one, Lonku has a lot of evade. That's part number one. And part number two would be the fact that he has more defense than Hey, you. Which is another really big part about getting those, uh, those defense tonics, right? That makes it a lot easier to pull off strategies like what we're about to do right here. Now, as long as Frederick doesn't get blocked from the front, which he's about to, isn't he? Oh, no. Yeah, as you see, they go for Hey You, despite the fact that two hits on Lon Kool would have killed him. Which is what we wanted to do, so as to not allow Frederick to be blocked. Well, if nothing else, this guy is actually separated from the group. So I can pull you with somebody over here, which keeps Frederick much safer. And I can use that as an opportunity to perhaps kill one of these archers. Or attempt to. It would really be better if they were dead. Like, they're definitely my biggest issue. So I'm gonna try for the Gimp. He and Sumia together could easily kill this guy. Any combination, really. Either he can get a crit or Sumia can jump in. Neither? Okay, cool. And I don't think these guys do 16, right? Oh, they do exactly 16. Of course they do. Ah, uh, <laughs> Well, do I want the do I want the treasure or not, basically? And I think the answer is yes. I would like to try for it at least. Oh crom, save my ass, why don't you? Save my bacon, man! Now I can actually put AU right here with a vulnerary, but Well, we know this part, this th this has to be Sully. It has to be Sully. She's also gonna be the only one in range of this guy, though, so that helps out a lot. I think this should work out. Let's drop off Muriel. Pair these two now. Move here with AU. And use a vulnerary. That extra little bit of defense keeps her alive. In fact, he'll probably attack Lon Ku because of it, I think. Crit or something. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of that thief, finally. There's a chess key. They're going to come for Sully as expected, but to no avail. Yeah, here we go. Now we're starting to whittle these guys down, which is what I'm looking for. Well, they actually still attack AU. I suppose... Oh, yes, of course. I, I meant to bring this up sooner, so I did actually figure out why the enemy does that sometimes. It's because they can crit AU. 
That's why they're attacking her like that. Of course. Just like in Mystery of the Emblem. Just like in Mystery of the Emblem. Now, Sully's actually gonna get a kill here, isn't she? Ooh, I want to do it so bad. You guys, can you feel how badly I want to make that move? <laughs> I really, really do. So I guess that... I guess if we're going to go the Donald route, what we would actually do is something like this. Oh, Krom actually did it for me. So that's not how this is going then. How badly do I want to go the Donald route exactly? Pretty badly. <laughs> Truthfully, you know, if I if I pair solely with Muriel, she actually doesn't die, does she? They would need 23 attack, and they have 22. Okay, I am. I am. Nobody doubt my realness after this series of moves. Okay. <laughs> uh, Muriel to here, though. We can kill this one guy. This one archer. Goodbye. And now they have to attack Muriel. Well, they don't have to attack Muriel, but they will attack Muriel. Trust me. Uh, we're not gonna miss. Oh, my heart actually skipped a beat for that second. Just for like a brief moment, I could feel my life flashing before my eyes. But we actually get to kill this guy right now, saving the treasure. Good. You wanna get speed or like... Oh, he did it! And magic again! <laughs> ah, good. Now he can use the Levin Sword to good effect. Which was my goal this whole time. Now obviously with that Silver Lance right there, we can just one-shot these thieves. Yeah, look at that. We survived. Nice. Nice, nice. And now we've actually offset the two archers to the point that Samia can keep doing her thing. Which is exactly what we're going to do. Goodbye to this one. He is, she's so good. She's so good. Obviously, we want to keep funneling experience into her for that exact reason. Uh, Soli plus Muriel may, in reality, be able to 1v1 this archer, huh? Yeah, they actually do. So there you go. So he's not quite done just yet. No, no. Ooh. That's pretty good. Yeah. So he's kicking ass, believe it or not. And I think she just got an extra point of might on top of that. So that is really good. Now, it seems to make some amount of sense to me to go for this. I'm not getting doubled by these guys. And if I am, I can still bail by giving Krom away. I'll give Krom. Yeah, I don't fully know how, uh... I don't fully know how I'm getting that last kill with, uh, good old Donny boy. Because he's about to level up again. Now, you only have to do the one. If that wasn't clear. You only have to level him up once, but... Or just for fun, I mean, why not keep it going, right? <laughs> we also have Sumia in the area as well, in case this goes left. It does not. Cool. Level up for Muriel? Maybe? Yeah! Look at this. We're making out like nothing else on this map. Oh, there we go. There we go. Somebody finally, finally has some speed. A decent magic user. Who would have seen it coming? Studies have shown ambition nourishes even the most logical minds. Do you dream? I want to train until I'm the best damn knight I can be. Better than any man. Oh, they have a support? Really? Huh. I didn't know that, actually. Now, at this point, I can't really leave myself here because one will die. And then the other will kill me. I could try to get one last for the road with Donny Boy. I... <laughs> I don't know. That seems like such a horrible idea. It really does, but I'm gonna do it. I say that it's a good idea. Well, I say that it's a bad idea, really, because it is. It's a terrible idea. I'm very tempted to do it. Oh, Sumia, hell yeah. Oh, no. I guess maybe the game is trying to tell me something. No, Deltray, you idiot. What are you doing? Just take the win. I guess, man. I'm gonna take that chess key now, though. I come all the way in with Frederick, and if he has the old javelin back, which we're gonna do right now, give him the javelin, and take a vulnerary, too. Not trying to have your boy fall over on me now. So we can equip that. He can now retaliate upon these mages. Vike, with you. And I can actually just kill this guy right now, huh? Yeah, that's actually how we do this in reality. Yeah, for sure. Take him out. So now we're safe. I imagine that they do, in fact, attack hey, you. And in this chest, we get the rescue staff. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. That's my fault. But it is a rescue staff, I promise. I assure you. Yeah, I mean, I think I kind of have to, sadly. So get him out of my hair. Oh, she's so close to a level up. Oh, man, if she dual attacks. Oh, man, if she dual attacks. But I kind of want to give it to Donald, though. <laughs> I can beat him this round. 
Let's let's try it. Animations come off the road, Drake, I suppose. Time them cattle whips learn what us wild boar men can do. Can you can you scream for me? I'm sorry, I'm sounding like Perry. Oh, pick a god and pray! Exactly. You're done. That is the most badass crit quote in the entire game. You cannot change my mind. So with the killing edge and Frederick, he is now dead. I really was gonna try to give it to Donnie because I saw the way to do it. All I needed to do was attack with Frederick right there. Then switch to Muriel, attack again. He's on a Silver X right now, so he won't be able to counter. Then Donald can finish like 75% of the time, which is not really great. I mean, it's true hits, so it's more like 80 something, but. I think the game is trying to tell me something. It's trying to tell me, Deltrain, take your stats and go, <laughs> basically. Because I finally, finally, we got some decent level ups here. And I don't think this map is very bad. Nor do I think training Donald is very hard. I know a lot of people like to surround an archer and just do it that way, which is always an option, yeah. And there's even that guy up in the upper left room who basically asks for it, right? He's, he's basically begging you to do exactly that. But I don't like to do that because it makes it much harder to get the treasure chests on this map. I mean, I'm sure you could do both, but I think it actually does help to try and have Donnie contribute something of actual note. Like killing that thief on the enemy phase with the first turn, for example, that actually helps us beat the map, you know what I mean? And sure, you could grind him up by just cornering an archer, sure, no problem. But, if you have time to do that, then you're not really worried about beating the map, you know what I mean? You're just, you're literally grinding at that point. So I, I kind of like to try and do both at the same time, so that way I can get the killer lance. The killer lance is a very good weapon for uh, anybody who can use C rank and lances. Which will be like Sumia, Cordelia, eventually Cordelia, I mean, uh, Frederick. And they can all appreciate it. So I think that getting the treasure is very useful. The rescue staff is especially useful because it's, uh, well, we'll see on the next map. I don't know if it's mandatory, but it's damn good for sure. Yeah, bleh, this ain't weird. Oh, yes, it is. So which god did you pick? Nagi's my favorite. Uh, Frederick and Sumia, no surprises there. Sui, <laughs> we did it, boys. We got we rid of them bandits for good and all. Yes. A worthy first victory, Donnie. You fought well. Is that it? Oh, <laughs> Ma, Ma, it's me. Oh. oh, Donnie, thank goodness you're safe. I was worried to near death, boy. I can't thank you enough for saving my son in our village, my lord. Donnie, where are your manners? Take a knee and thank his lordliness. I so this is where he gets it from. Er, I can't begin to repay all what you've done for us, sir. So thank you. No. You led the charge, Donnie. We just picked off the stragglers. That's Heyu's favorite strategy, in fact. Hone your potential and use it to keep this village safe. Damn. Well, wait, please. Hmm? Something wrong. I'm begging you. I has a request, sir. If it pleases your graceliness, <laughs> take me with you, my lord. Let me be a shepherd like you. I'm good with livestock, I am. Please, sir. What? Hush now, you fool boy. I can fight too. I want to hone my whatever he said. I want to keep this place safe. I never thought I was good for nothing more than shoveling dirt. But my lord showed me there's something more I can do. More needs to be doing. Gods, help us. You needs to be knowing your place, boy. <laughs> a farmhand's no fit for a royal. <laughs> Actually, sure, why not? We're taking anybody these days, so. The shepherds need every good man we can find, and your son fought bravely. Oh. You're very kind to say as much, your lordshipness, <laughs> but... Oh. <sighs> Well, you're a grown man now, Donnie boy. I suppose you can make up your own mind. Aw, oh, Ma. Safe journey. You just come home safe, love. Alright, so this is the beginning of the saga of the Killager. Oh, you already know. You thought we were benching him after this map? <laughs> Not a chance. I'll see you the villagers standing when you're a returner hero. Well, off with you then. Glory's awaiting, boy. Yeah. I ain't fighting for glory, Ma. I'm fighting for you. But if I do find some glory, I'll be sure to bring it home for you. Glory is my favorite food. Oh, I can't believe you're so dumb, kid. Just come home alive, Donnie. Daw. Well, we'll see if we can't make that happen. Anyways, for the time being, that is gonna do it for me. So, overall, pretty successful part. Our units stopped sucking finally. Uh, except for Hey You, she's still pretty average. I guess we're gonna see if that 
it really matters or not. I I haven't decided what we're doing with her yet. We're just kind of playing it by ear, man. This is this is like a chill thing. It's more like it's more laid back. Only thing I will say is that it is a little bit disappointing that what you can and can't do is so heavily determined by your stats. Doesn't mean you can't have fun if you have like a B team like I do, so to speak. But it would be nice if they did just a little bit more to make it easier on you. Like earlier tonics would be the big thing. If you could buy every tonic in the game right now, that would help out so much. That would help out so much. It wouldn't make the game easy, it would just make it more RNG proof, I feel. Not what they did though, so only so much we could do. Anyways, next time we're gonna move on to chapter five. Probably the last real roadblock before the game opens up a little bit. And leave a like, of course, if you did. If you made it this far, hey, why not, man? Let me know your thoughts as well, and I will catch you on the next one. See you then, peace.